So in this video, I'm going to talk about computing sample size using Yamanes or Slovens formula. There are many ways to compute the sample size of, a, of your research and one of those is the Yamanes formula or before it was called the Slovens formula. So we use the term or the the name Yamane because um, because there is a source uh, a research or a book that is uh, stating the formula and this book is uh, authored by Taro Yamane and although it is famously called Slovin's formula where this is the formula that I'm talking about uh, we don't know who is Sloven and if that name exists and so we prefer to use the name that has um, a source that can be cited for the formula so we have this formula for sample size computation uh, n equals capital N over 1 plus NE squared where the small n is the sample size the capital N is the population size and the E is the margin of e error. So the margin of error can be either 5% for social sciences studies or 1% for medical studies. So it, depend it depends on your field. And so most of my studies are in social sciences so I just, I'll just use 5% um, for my examples for social sciences but I'm uh, telling you if you are in medical studies you use 1% margin of error the reason for that is um, for medical studies it involves life of human or animals so it must be lesser a uh, chance of error and uh, usually those studies that includes um, creating new medicine so to avoid an error that having um, some uh, problems with creating those medicines and it might affect uh, human health and so it must be only 1% chance of error and so we're using this formula when we know only the population size if we know the other things like the attributes how many percent of this population size is um knows how to play basketball if your research is about something about those who play basketball so if you know those other informations about the population size then you can use the other formula like Co Cochrane's formula so basically we uh only we know only the population size of the um of our research of our target population and so we usually use the Slovis formula or the Yamanis formula. So let me show you how to compute using this formula. So let's say for example we have a, a research with a population size of 100. And so how to compute the minimum sample size of this population. Let's say we don't like to uh, survey all the 100 uh, people and we want to save uh, money for uh, reproducing the survey questionnaire and so we're going to use the uh, sample size computation for the Yamanis formula so we're going to substitute um, the population or the N capital N as for 100 and let's say this is a social science study so we're going to use 5% margin of error so first is you're going to compute the 0 0.05 squared which is uh, 0 0.0025 and then uh, you're going to co uh, multiply 100 by 0 0.0025 at the denominator so it will be 0 0.25 then you're going to add 1 plus 0 0.25 that is 1.25 then you're going to divide 100 divided by 1.25 it will be 80 so that means 
the minimum number of samples for your, this study must be uh, at least 80. So if your study, if your um, respondents are, uh, let's say, 86 or 85 and so on, it's okay. As long as it's more than 80 or equals to 80. As long as it's not lesser than 80. Let's say 79. So it's still, it, is, it will not be valid. Because according to Yamani's formula computation, your minimum number of samples must be at least uh, 80. So let's say we have another example, a uh, population size of 500, and we want to know the uh, minimum sample size for this. And so we are going to use the Yamanis formula. We have n over 1 plus n e squared, and substitute. Capital N will be 500 in the margin of error. Uh, it depends on your field of study. So let's say it's a social science study. So it's 0 0.05. And then we are going to compute first the 0 0.05 squared, which is 0 0.0025, meaning you're going to multiply 0 0.05 by itself. So that's the result. And then we are going to multiply 500 times 0 0.0025, which will be 1.25. And then you just copy the rest. And then we are going to add 1 plus 1.25. It will be 2.25. Then we divide 500 by 2.25, it will be 222.222 and so on. So it's actually a repeating two. So uh, what are you going to do with this? Are you going to round up or round off or round down? So the rule for this, um, for Slovin's formula or Yamanis formula is to just keep on rounding up because we, ha we should uh, consider that 2, 2, 2, and so on, because that represents a person. So it's if you're just imagining the point 2, it's like just a fit of a person, but you have to consider it, and so you just consider the whole person, okay? So you cannot round off that so that it will be 222, because you are neglecting that point 2, because that uh, serves as the person already. It's the sample size is saying that it must be at least 222.22. So to be safe, you just add 1. So that means uh, the minimum is 223 samples. So again, you do not round off, but we round up. As long as there is something point something, even if it's 0 0.001, you round up. Now let's make it a bit bigger. Let's say there are 2,000 in your population size. So we are going to substitute n by 2,000. So again, we are going to compute first the 0 0.05 squared, which is 0 0.0025. And then we are going to multiply 0 0.0025 by 2,000. It will be 5. So we're going to add 1 plus 5 at the bottom. It will be 6. And 2,000 divided by 6 it will be 333.3333 and so on. So it's a repeating 3. Again, if we have a decimal, we always round up. So it will be 334. That is the minimum sample size. So it's okay to be 335, 306, 307. As long as it's more than or equal to 334, that will be valid. Now let's make it uh, bigger we have a population size of 10,000 so the uh, formula for Yamanis formula will be here and we're going to substitute the population size which is 10,000 and the margin of error of 0 0.05 so we're going to compute 0 0.05 squared which is 0 0.0025 and then multiply by 10,000 which will be 25 so 1 plus 25 is 26 and divide 10,000 by 26 it will be 384.62 so this is a whole a decimal uh, number so we always round up so it's not because it's 0.6 but it's because there is a, a decimal that's why we are rounding up so it will be 385 so the minimum 
number of samples for a 10,000 population size is 300, 385 samples. So as you can see, um, as you make it bigger and bigger population size, it will get closer and closer to 400. So the sample size will not uh, reach more than 400. Even if it, you make you make it a population size of 1 million, uh, the, the sample size will still be up to 399.999 and so on. It will just be closer and closer to 400. So basically, to, for a safe research, if there is a big population size, you use a sample size of 400 because that will be safe as long as you distribute this 400 to um a fair to have a fair distribution or proportion so basically we're you are going to uh, carefully use the stratified sampling to make it uh fair because a uh, big population size with only 400 sample size if you don't uh, carefully distribute it then it's going to be uh unfair study or bias study so it will still be up to how it is properly um, carried out to make it still valid and fair so i, th I hope you have learned uh, this computation and how to compute your sample size using the yamanis formula thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.